Happy Sunday, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video at JNS Outdoors. Today's video is going to be all about how I sharpen and maintain my knives. Um, I've got a new whetstone kit. Um, can't pronounce the name of it. L A R H N. It was forty quid off Amazon. I'll uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. But my old one started to bevel in the middle, so it wasn't getting a straight edge. But um, it has the uh, comes with the green polishing compound poo. Um, I'm guessing this is for uh, cleaning the edge of the blade. Also comes with a, a an a even stone, so. Once the, the stones, if you notice the stones not level, I run that over it, bringing it all back to one level, which is what I didn't have with my old stone. Um, this one is a 6,000 grit and a 1,000 grit. And this one is a 400 grit, um, which you shouldn't really need to use if you're just uh, giving your knife a quick most of the time I should only use the 6000 grit, I should probably get a higher one, but that just to give it a few strokes, just to keep it nice and sharp. It does come with a guide, but to be honest, I probably wouldn't use that unless I was planning on sharpening my kitchen knives. Um, it comes with a wooden board with a rubber bit on the bottom. I'm not sure how well that's gonna work on the air. It's not gonna work very well on on here I might have to take that off and just do it on the wood and each one comes with a, a lever casing for the stone not a lever rubber casing for the stone to sit in in there so let's uh, put all that back on top there put that to one side for a minute Um, got my honing strap there that was that's cowhide um, that was made for me by uh, Mason Bushcrafts not the Mason Bushcraft knives um, and the knife that we're going to be bringing back to life today is a very old knife of mine um, bought about four years ago and it's been battered. So I'm going through all my knives now So Eventually I want to try and get a nice edge on that. That's a scuba diving knife um, It's militant stainless steel made in Japan blunt as you know, it's dull But um, I'm gonna try and get an edge back on that um, That'd be be challenging because that is dull but um the knife I do want to bring back to life, if I can find it, oh god, i just got a box full of knives. Um, so, oh, where is it? Is that it? No, that's Amora. No, ah, here she is. So I bought this Mora knife about four or five years ago and um you know the she's not blunt blunt she's lost the tip where i tried uh, unscrewing something and uh, the tip snapped off um but i'm going to try and get a nice shine back on that make it razor again and try and get that point back so i don't have anything big enough i've had to go for my camping water washing up bowl um, and do it in that. Should be enough. Be enough water. All right. So. I'm going to go with the 400 today 
because I need to get that edge and that point back on that. And then we go to the thousand and then the six thousand to finish it off. So I'm gonna let them soak for 20 minutes and, uh, and then I'm gonna bring you back. Okay, so that's been about 25 minutes now. They've been soaking for. I'm gonna pull out the 400 grit and I'm gonna start on that. Oh, don't want to get that too wet on the table. On the bar, sorry, not the table, the bar. Sit that in there nicely. There we go. Pop that in there. That's sitting there. Hopefully, that won't go too far. And then this is the knife we're gonna get a nice edge of Scandi grind back on it. Nice Scandi grind. Um, I am going to do all my knives today. This is the one that I'm going to be videoing though. Some of the knives have a Corvex grind, a hollow grind and a flat grind. They're all different knives with different grinds, but Scandi grind is by far the easiest to sharpen because you just have to put it flat on the stone, roll it forward. And once it's on that edge, on that Scandi grind, that's it. And then you just, all I do is follow it up. All right, so we're gonna slip and slide. But, like I say, this isn't me educating anybody on how to sharpen a knife. Everyone's got their own way. So some people may do strokes as such. Yeah, I've seen some people just do strokes. But me personally, yeah, I'm just gonna go like this. see that compared to the other side let me just already you look at that side all the scratch marks and then already after a few strokes it's starting to um, shine up I don't know I'm gonna carry on I'm gonna drip a bit of water on there Carry on. I like to get one edge, one side looking buffed, and then and then moving on to the next. This is going to take some time, so I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to have this video watching me do the whole thing. Cause it's probably going to take me a good a good hour at least to get this point and edge back on this knife i don't use this knife to be honest it's not you know something that i'm doing to take this knife back out this is just something i'm doing because you know it's good practice it's good practice um so i'll just give it get it sharp gonna turn to the other side now so it's pretty much the same principle but you're bringing it towards you thumbs on the on the scandy grind bend it over and then backwards and forwards some people wouldn't go backwards I've seen some people just just bring it forward I've seen people just do it backwards do you know what I don't think it matters I think it's if it works it works if it's gonna it's clearly working I can see the um, you know working already so if it works for you just do it however you want to sharpen it to be honest it's getting there it's still not quite a point but it's a lot better than what it was Keep going with that. Get more water on there. Gonna have to oil this bar up again when I have a of water going on it. Right. 
a nice day though. Like if you're from the uh, similar sort of area where I'm from, I'm from High Wycombe area. If you're from around that area, you'll know yourself as well that you know it's a it's a nice day today. I don't really can't don't really get on with doing it this side, but. Um, That's why you got to just, you know, that's why practice is good. You know, even though I'm not going to use this knife, so I can practice sharpening this and getting this spot on. It's good practice for when I need to sharpen my others, you know. Tell you what though guys let me know what sort of videos you want to see i mean you know i'm not a big review guy i don't like doing reviews you know it's called jns outdoors uh, you know i know i know a lot of channels do it because they want free stuff i'm not interested in getting free stuff you know but if i get free stuff that's great if i don't wow you know, I'm not bothered, um, you know, but it's called JNS Outdoors because I want to keep it. I know at the minute we can't get outdoors because of lockdown, but, um, you know, I want it to be about outdoors, doing different things. And so reviews has crossed my mind and, you know, I have done a review or two in the past. I mean, if it's something you guys want to see reviews like on different kits and stuff, or, or, you know, what kit I've got and stuff like that then I'll do reviews, that's fine. If you want to see it, that is. I'm not going to do it to get free stuff. I'll do it if you want to see it. But um, if you've got any ideas for videos that you want to see, let me know, you know, because I'll get out there and do it. You know, a lot of the time I'm just camping or or um, hammocking it or tenting it or, you know, going on a hike. But I mean, you know, let me know what you want to see. If you want to see more survival stuff, building shelters, or cooking stuff like that leave it put in the comments below what you want to see what you want to see more of i do a lot of hunting i just keep the hunting out of my videos because some viewers don't like it you know and some viewers might not care but the viewers that don't like it will you know might end up leaving and i don't want to upset anybody you know, I don't want to upset anybody watching me skin and gut a rabbit or a, or a pigeon or, you know, something that I'm going to do or, or a deer when we go deer hunting. But if, if it's something that a lot of people want to see, I'll put a video up. I'll, uh, next time I go, go out shooting, I'll put, put a video up. Yeah, that's getting there. Even more. Try and use the full length of the stone. I think that's where I went wrong with my um, last stone. I was sort of using the, from like the sort of there to there, and that's why it got the dip in it. So I'm doing it with this one now because I keep forgetting. Just use the full length of the stone, that's what it's there for. You know what, that's nearly there. A bit more work, a bit more work. Get rid of some of this water on this towel. That's it. Uh, ugh. Yeah, I'm happy with that point. It's not flat anymore, it's a point. I'm happy with that. What do you think? I hope you can see this. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm gonna just 
keep going over the blade a bit, a bit more. And I'm gonna work on the on the sides. All right, just carry on with that. Okay. Try and slide this over a bit. There we go. Try and just carry on with that side. Again, guys, I can't stress how much about leaving comments. It's one thing my channel lacks on. I know I've only got 446 subscribers. I actually lost a few subscribers after my last video. I think it's because I went out camping and people don't like it. Well, sorry, guys. You know, I lost a couple, but then I gained them back in elsewhere. So, you know, to me, if I'm going to lose four or five subscribers but gain four or five then ones that left because I decided to go out camping and I was safe everyone was safe with somebody that I'm in a bubble with yeah but anyway I'm not even going into that um yeah I struggle with comments on my channel so it would be would be nice if you uh, could leave a, a comment you know it helps the channel loads um drop a I'll drop a comment you know just saying hi if that's if that's all you you want to say but i'm very interested to see what people want to see on my channel you know now that there is it's looking good for on the restriction side of things getting lifted you know oh, it's a while yet before we can go out camping and stuff but it's there it's in the process you know we can go out and do some camping soon yeah, with all the restrictions and that coming back in, I mean, being lifted now, you know, I just I just really want to push my channel to the next level now. You know, I have spoken to a few YouTubers and, you know, I'm got a, gonna be going at meeting up with um, Simon from World Campus UK. Um, I'm gonna be going to him, to the Peak Districts for a weekend. Um, Burton Outdoors, keep on to him about a meet-up. Um, you know, we're going to plan something. Justin from JJ Outdoors, we've been talking for ages about meeting up as soon as we're allowed. And, and overnight, oh, and again, I'm going to go to his, where he goes, for his permission. Um, remember talking to Ash from Ash Outdoors about meeting up a long time ago. Well, last year, before the lockdown, yeah, before the lockdown. And uh, we said we'd plan something, but Ash is a busy man. He has uh, a lot of people to meet up with. But hopefully, one day, I'll uh, get to have the meet up with him. And uh, do an overnighter, or a couple of days. Um, yeah, there's, there's a few. Mark from MDM Outdoors. Spoke to him on what's um, Facebook Messenger about it, and said about doing a meet up. I'm 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 happy um ish with the with that. So I'm gonna change that over now. Pull that water out of there <laughs> and uh, stick that back in there. And get the uh, get the six, no, the thousand out. Get the thousand out. Get that in there. All right, crack on with this. Use the full length and see all the material coming off. That's great. Hopefully, the shine starts getting better the smoother the course, the more the shine. And then, with the strop, when it comes to stropping it, should um, should be like a mirror finish. Yeah, 
you see this is starting to take whereas that like this side when you're on the it's more scratchy with the with the 400 grit doesn't like shine it up as much but you can really tell this side's starting to get more more shinier keep going with that keep going with that side yeah if you are new to the channel subscribe help me get to that 500 subscriber mark i've got a a good giveaway and i'm not going to release what the giveaway is until i hit that 500 subscriber mark and um i won't be um announcing uh, a video specifically for the 500 subscriber giveaway it's going to be in a video where um you know you have to watch the video and it won't be at the beginning it won't be at the end it will be somewhere <laughs> in the video you um you will see and uh that's coming up nice now yeah it will be somewhere in the video that you'll see that i'll say right now i'm home for 500 subscribers um i'm doing a giveaway and i'll announce what it is nice Ah, oh, lovely, jubbly. So, yeah. Again, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Comment. Comment is important. Comment. You know? Likes are important. I don't even care if it's a dislike. You know that. It's like I get a few. Like I've, I've had a few on each video I do. Oh, crap. That's going over. Oh, no. We don't want that. We do not want that. Um... You know, I've had a few dislikes on a few videos, and what I don't, what I don't like, is when people dislike a video, and then they just they don't comment, they don't tell you why. Um, yeah. So, see how the the Scandi grind is getting more more of a shine on it instead of a scratchy look. Still a bit scratchy up there, I have to work on that tip a bit. But, yeah, more of a shiny look. So that, that 6,000 grit should sort that right out, make it shine right up. Let's, uh, let's work on this tip a bit more. I'm happy. I'm happy with that edge and that point. Nice point now. Yeah, I'm happy with that edge. What about what do you guys think? Move on to the to the six thousand grit now, I reckon. Smooth right, let's go. I feel how smooth it is just running up and down. That's uh that's nice. Ah, uh, so it's getting a nice mirror. It's not perfect mirror shine, but I reckon that's great, you know, that's that's not bad. That isn't bad at all. I'll work on that tip a little bit. work along there so now the idea is now we're finishing it off the idea don't know how well you can see the i'm trying to do it in the light but how it's becoming like a sort of mirror finish it's not perfect so the aim now is to keep going over it seeing where it's dull on the edge like down here seeing where it's dull and then keep going over it till it comes up as a mirror finish and then the uh, strop should do the rest after that. So let's keep going and see what we can, how much of a mirror finish we can get on that.
So I was going to get out and do a video on cooking today. Um, but I didn't, obviously. Um, it's getting nice. But um, I decided to do this instead because I had stuff to do at home anyway in the garden and just figured, you know, while I'm home and getting stuff done in the garden, I'll do a quick video on knife sharpening. So, again, let me know in the comments below what you've rather have seen. Me out cooking in the woods. I was going to go in the Polish Lavu. Um, or, are you happy with this video? Please, guys, leave comments. So... I mean, look, that ain't great, but compared to that, before I started it, it's a lot better. So, I, I'm happy with that. You know, basically, I just wanted to bring a dull knife back to some sort of life, and I reckon I've done it with that. So I'm gonna get on with the other side now. looking not bad bit there look I don't know if you can get that on the camera I'm trying to do it in the light but if you look up it's a nice mirror to about here and then it's dull and then it's mirror again there so I need to work on this edge edge bit there so like that <laughs> yeah see and now it's sort of bringing back the shininess it's not as dull just a little bit don't know why I just find this bit awkward let's see if I can get it let's do it that way so how do you guys spend your Sundays I like to spend my Sundays chilling we're doing a bit around the house first thing in the garden if you can get out in the garden Doing bits in the garden first thing, and uh, and then um, and then spending the afternoon or the evening once the kids have gone to bed, catching up on YouTube videos. Um, some days are really the only day at night or evenings that I get to spend on YouTube, catching up on everyone's videos. What about you? So. Let's just uh, work that out. Do that side. I'm I'm almost happy with this now. I'm almost ready, ready to put it on the strop. What do you reckon? Compared to how it was, I think that's a lot better. Right, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna get that on the strop now. I'll bring you back. So I've got the strop. I've got the strop. And now, use this stropping poop. Oh, very nice. And uh, rub that all over it. Literally cover it in it. You know. too fond of stropping to be honest stropping something I've never really done I don't really plump my knives to be honest so you know this one just got battered it's like all knives in it especially when they're cheap when they're Mora's but like, I'm not gonna lie I just ordered a Mora it's been delivered today just because I want Mora's are perfect for kitchen knives not kitchen knives like knives for um Through prep when you're out and about, they're so thin, 
you can slice nice it doesn't you try slicing with um you know if I, if I try slicing with my uh where is it where is it where are you there she is if I, if I try slicing with my tbs ball knife well which actually needs to tidy up because look yeah if i try slicing with that because it's so thick you get halfway into it and it just breaks it off whereas the the mores don't do that clean that poo off and then uh, see what she's like i mean you can tell just from the honing dropping her if you look down the scandy part of the grind you can tell she's um hope you can see this all right so i don't have it in selfie mode <laughs> but you can tell just from stropping how much better she is on the scandy grind i mean a few more strops maybe Few more strops, but she's definitely sharp. <laughs> so there she is. Definitely got that mirror finish back on the Scandi grind. I really hope you can see it because it's compared to what she was, it's beauty. You know. Now for the hair test. So, I'm gonna get you there. Oh yeah, boy, look at that. Look at that. Smooth. She would not have done that before. Not a chance. All right. Let me set you up and I'll do a paper test. Here's the, comes the paper test. So, oh my God, beautiful. Oh. Mm. It's probably just me, where I'm holding it. Well, you can see anyway, she's cutting through all that. She's sharp, um, no doubt about that. I'm, uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on her. Not like I'm gonna use her, but put a bit of oil on her when I um, finish my others and put her away. But thanks for watching guys. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and please, please comment, comment about what we were talking about through the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that there's some of you out there that have got tips for me for sharpening my knives. And I also hope that I might have helped somebody else learn how to sharpen a knife. You never know. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Come on. And uh, I'll see you again very soon. Stay safe and take care.